guys? Temper Void here, and today we are playing some more Oxygen Not Included. Today, we guys, we are on episode 3, and we are on cycle 7 in the game. Really excited to play today. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting back into the world and seeing what we can do to expand it. Um, and I learned a couple new things, um, but I don't know them off the top of my mind, but I think as we're playing, I'll explain some of them to you when I, when I remember what we're doing. Um, and I know one of the big things that I learned is um, when you're building these, you can make these pumps. And I want to research these pumps really bad because with these pumps, um, these liquid pipes, you can take what is this contaminated water, which I don't actually, we have very little contaminated water around us. Um, there's a lot over here actually, but a lot of it's below us, not much above us, which is kind of going to be a bad thing, um, but a good thing at the same time because I don't think the contaminated water stuff rises, plus we don't have to worry as much about flooding. So, but one of the things is when you build a pump, um, I see a lot of uh, other players and YouTubers, they only use one pump. And I've learned that if you use multiple pumps and hook them up to one pipe, you can get a lot better water outflow. So I think that's what we're going to be working on. But anyways, guys, enough delay. Let's actually get on with the world. Let's let it go. It's actually nighttime right now, and uh, Lee here doesn't have a bed, so we're going to have to make Lee a bed. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> so I think we're going to fast forward through the night here. Hopefully... These guys wake up and they're good to go. Uh, Lee's gonna be a little bit stressed out because they're sleeping on the floor and that's not good. Um, they're all hungry, which we did make this, right? Yeah, the microbe mush bar. We've got no fabrications queued though. So I think you can actually set it, continuously fabricate mush bar if resource is available. That's what I want. So I just wanted to make as much mush bar as possible 24 seven. So another thing I realized too is that um, here at the toilets, uh, they do spread contamination over time. So it might be worth considering moving them to a different spot in the um, in our base later on. And I know you can get these like uh, better toilets too eventually. Uh, what are they called? They're um, uh, are they here? Or plumbing refinement? I don't see it here. But um, it's basically like an advanced toilet, and it basically just lets you, uh, it, it's a toilet that you can not have to worry about contamination because it keeps it locked inside. But yeah, these guys are working hard at getting everything upstairs and stuff. We're going to slow down to normal time real quick so I can think about what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, I know I want to queue some research. Uh, we're only at 8 out of 20 for that, so we got to make sure we queue up these research. So I think I'm going to make it so they continuously research there. And another thing I learned too is when you're building tile, you can actually choose the material you want to make it out of. So right now we're kind of low on obsidian, but we have a lot of sandstone. So we can actually build a lot of sandstone. But the thing is, um, I think the sandstone doesn't get as much uh, of a decor bonus. So I don't know, but I know sandstone is a much more abundant mineral. It's basically everywhere when you start off and then eventually we'll have to move on to sedimentary rock, which I believe you can still do, right? Sedimentary rock is one of them. Uh, it doesn't look like it is. Um, huh, that's weird. I thought it was, but, uh, hopefully there's more. Yeah, igneous rock, you can use that, I know. Um, an abyssalite, what is this? I'm really interested to check a lot of this out, guys. It's gonna be a lot of fun. <coughs> Sorry about that. So, I think I'm gonna queue up here, uh, that these guys keep sweeping all this up. We can't let them, you know, we can't let all that happen. But, um, so the research center is idle right now. That's what it says, at least. Which does make sense. Oh, this, well, yeah, I had it. Did I have it selected on that? Yeah, I did. Alright, so looking at the oxygen overlay here, I can see um, there's a lot of carbon still just kind of floating around in our place, and there's a lot up here by these machines. So I think what we're really going to have to do is we're going to have to work on getting this research done so we can put these algae terrariums up, which we should be able to get them any sec, like any minute now, thanks to the research. But the algae terrariums are going to help us uh, balance out some of this carbon by putting them uh, by ladders and just putting them where it seems to be a heavy carbon flow area. So. That's definitely going to be a useful tool to have. And we're also going to order these guys to dig some of this stuff out. Uh, just kind of 
Just kind of keep the base organized, keep it as clean as possible. I do have them ordered to sweep as well. Um, I don't know how that's going to go for us. Hopefully they can get some good sweeping done. But hey, we'll see. So right now our max stress is 16, and it's only on one person. Uh, Blanche, right? Is that how you say the name? This person. And they're the one with the interrupted sleep, and I believe that's... They, they have a bed, right? Where They're on the end. No, they're not. I don't understand why they'd have interrupted sleep then. Um... So they, they, their stress should be going down, but it, it's going up. So it seems a lot of it's from sleeping, at least that's what I'm getting from it. So, and we do have to build a bed for our one dude here, if that's one of the things I've realized. So we're gonna work on getting him a bed as well. But let me see, okay, so yeah, we finally unlocked all the stuff we need, so let me slow down time here. I don't want to go past these days too fast because we're just going to jeopardize the lives of our duplicates and that's not necessarily a good thing. So I think we're going to build a whole bunch of these algae terrariums around, guys, just so we can try and balance out the terrible, terrible carbon problem that we're getting. And hopefully this helps fix that. So I'm going to put a whole bunch of these guys by the ladders and stuff. We'll put one up here. Anywhere I think we're going to have bad carbon problems, I'm just going to plop one down. We'll even... Oh, why is that floating? Cancel. Yeah. Even where um down here I think I'll put some, because then we can use this room later on. But these guys are dropping a lot of materials and stuff. But I also want to make sure that this is all prioritized to a 9. I want these done, guys. These have to get done. Or we're not going to be here long to see anything else happen. Yep, so it seems it's all marked as a 9 now. Right, other than that, I think we're doing good in terms of everything else. Uh, food, we have it queued constantly. Um, they look a little hungry, but like we just saw, they seem to be eating on their own just fine. Uh, we do seem to be full on storage, though. That's probably why they're not picking this stuff up, so I should probably put down some more storage. I think I can fit two more right there, and then we might have to start building our own little dedicated storage area. And we're gonna, I just realized too, we're also gonna need a lot of algae to make this whole system run with the um, algae compactor and whatnot. So we gotta make sure, or algae terrarium, not compactor, I'm sorry. So we're gonna have to, I'm gonna mark all the algae around us here to get mined out. I don't want to dig anything but algae, don't wanna waste my time. So we're just going to order them to get any of the algae that they can reach and put that stuff in our base. Because we're, we're definitely going to need all this algae, guys. If we're going to make it far, we're going to need it until we can make some sort of efficient oxygen system. Which, I mean, with the deoxidizer, uh, we seem to kind of have it. But, uh, I mean, like most of it is reliant on algae. And without algae, you're not going to get very far. So at least they seem to also be getting their water pretty good. That doesn't seem to be a big problem. But we're also going to order them to dig up some of this energy that's here. So we can use it for our base. And all the oxygen we're going to have to consume. But other than that, we should be good. Don't think there's going to be any other problems. There is some more down here we can use though. So let's get that. I don't, I don't think they're going to be able to reach some of this, though, so we might have to... Is it, wait, is that algae? That's algae, right? Yeah, that is. Okay. See, I don't know if they're going to be able to reach that, though, so we might have to build a little bit of a walkway over there for them to get to it. Other than that, these guys should be good now. Yeah. Oh, we got to locate the storage here. Oh, there we go. So they should start also picking up all the dirt on the ground and materials, and that problem should have been solved. Other than that, these algae terrariums look like they're already working great. Let's see, what's the oxygen map look like? It already looks a lot less. I, it's, it was used to be like a solid red around the bottom there, and just solid red in general, but it seems to actually be spreading out, and the oxygen is becoming very breathable in a lot of areas. They're making quick work of it, so that, that's awesome. Other than that, I can't think of anything. We do want to build another bed, so let me, let me pause time actually real quick. I don't want to waste any time. I want to get this bed down. 
Um, where's bed? It's furniture. Yeah, there we go. Um, so I'm trying to think where we can put this bed. I don't want it to be too far away from the rest of them, though. Ugh. Okay, so I think we might be able to quickly build tile over here like that. And at the same time, dig out a lot of this wall without jeopardizing our duplicate's health. So hopefully it works that way. Um, I'm going to pray it does. But at this rate, who even knows? Let me see. Um, yeah, pr prioritize. There we go. So I'm going to be calling that a 9 now. If we hit play, they should go for it. And it shouldn't be a problem. Alright, so it looks like we got most of it out, so I'm going to order them to build two beds, actually, because I figured, why not just put two beds down and be ready for the future, because I have a feeling we're going to get our next duplicate soon. And, yep, <laughs> wow, that was the best timing I could have ever had. So, let's see, what, okay, so I think right here we're going to go for the Jack of All Trades right here, and take Shannon. Um, I, I think we have one or two other good characters that are... Jack of all trades, but uh, he's the brightest star in the sky. Cannot perform job research. Actually, though, this doesn't seem like that bad. Has good tinkering level. Grease monk. Actually, you know what? I think I'm actually gonna get um, Olive here. Olive actually seems like a better character, um, just because she has a lot of positive attributes, and at the same time, she doesn't seem that bad for traits. But yeah, we're gonna do Olive there. And we're gonna make sure they build that second bed over here as well. So there it is, the cot. So hopefully they get it done, and what is happening with that carbon? Uh, is that toxic material? Slime. Oh gosh, I think... Oh no, oh gosh, oh see, so tox toxic... That stuff is toxic, so I... Mm, I should have thought about that. It says it's organic, so I didn't figure it could be toxic, but it looks like it is. So, I, I think I'm also going to order them to put tile up here, just to prevent any sort of contamination from breaching through. Because at this point, I really don't want to risk it. And this here, I want them to sweep, and I think I'm going to make a chest down here for sweep only. So actually, let me, let me pause time real quick. I, no, I don't want it floating. I want it to be down on the ground. So, base storage compactor. I just, I really don't want these guys to get sick, and I need to keep it out of the area where, you know, they're going to be living. And actually, putting it near the water is probably not a good idea either. Man, this is actually kind of tricky. So, okay, over here might be a good bet. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to dig a stairway type system there. Dig that out there, and we're going to put it down here in this little pocket. That should be a good spot, and I'll say that this stuff can hold toxic material. Where's the priority tool? We're going to set all of this over here to a 9. Hopefully they get it done ASAP. And I'm actually going to cancel the sweep on this because I don't want them to pick it up yet. If it means that, you know, they're just going to get contaminated if they do and put it in one of these chests where it's going to get contaminated. Honestly, it's coming back at me that I didn't sort these chests from the beginning. You can see, like, I just... I completely looked over it and it's probably a really bad idea but we should be fine um, I'll just make sure they only put things like slime up in these chests and that should fix our problem and there's birdie going to sleep again on the job oh, and she's back away getting the mush bars <laughs> all right uh, some of our algae terrariums don't seem to have enough algae uh, I don't think they can reach a lot of this algae still which is gonna be unfortunate so I think what we're gonna do is I'm also going to order them to build a ladder up here, so they can- oh, I didn't mean to do that, but okay, that works. I'll just do it from there. Uh, deconstruct- cancel, not deconstruct. But hopefully they can climb up here, get some of this algae, and that should fix our problem for that. And I'll, I'll even put some tiles here, so hopefully they can reach as much of it as possible. So I, re I really need to get that stuff. It's going to be very terrible if we don't get it done. But they seem to be getting these um, storage containers over here done and ready to go. So that's good. So now we can order it to put where is it, organic and slime. 
So now they should only be putting slime in there, and that should definitely help out with things like contamination in our base from the start. So that's good. I'm glad we got that done. And I think you can even get airlock doors where it keeps out, uh, keeps out contamination and gases, so we can put one of those down too. And the research was done, so I actually think... Um, yeah, let me... I have a supercomputer here, right? And I can use it to queue up what I want. And I think, yeah, we're going to go for gas piping next. We're going to have them queue up that research now. Hopefully they start working on it as soon as possible. Watch here. Her stress? What is that at? Uh, It's at 30%. She's got the highest stress of everyone, and I don't know why. Interrupted sleep and tired. Dirty cans and grimy. So, it seems like... She's not getting enough sleep for some reason. And that's not good, and all of here, did they, oh, they didn't finish the cots over there, dang it. Is, is she getting some sort of carbon in her sleep? That might be what it is, because she's really close to the uh, generators over here. Okay, you know what, so I think I'm actually going to order that they put a, that right there, because that should help with that problem. And I'm also going to order, what is this priority at? I thought it was at a nine. Oh, it's not at a nine. Oh, I had it there at a nine to dig it all out. We need to make it a nine there now. And we also do want them to sweep that up now. I think we're going to order them to sweep everything up that they can. Just get all that done. Oh, so where's a sweep tool? Just sweep everything up. Oh, I don't want them to sweep this up because they will, they will go probably whatever they can to get this stuff. Yeah, so here, I'm just, there's the cancel tool. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, so other than that... We should be good. We're on cycle 10 right now. That's exciting, guys. That we've made it this far. But I think, guys, I'm actually going to stop it right here. Um, so hopefully next episode they can finish building all this right here. And we can get done some research, get the gas piping, and hopefully we should be good from there. Um, we've still got a lot of algae right here and water. But um, I, I'm just trying to think ahead in the future. Balancing out the oxygen seems like a pretty tricky task. Uh... There does seem to be more algae down here, which I did not see before, now that I'm looking a little closer. So, it's not like algae is a one-time thing, but it does seem a lot harder to get in the future. And a lot harder to see as well. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you guys are enjoying this Oxygen Not Included series, let me know. I've got some more awesome videos coming to the channel soon. And hopefully we can make it, uh, I want to say, at least 10 episodes into this um, one cycle or save if not though i will definitely just start a new world and hopefully we can learn from our mistakes but that's it for today guys thank you for watching and i'll see you all in the next one